everybody and welcome back to the Baker Cake Challenge here on Calmsden Farms with me Farmer Willie B. So today we are checking out on some of the fields that we've got done. Just bring up the map a second. So what have we done so far? Well we've got the canola field up here next to field seven here and um, down by the cow shed we have got here we are this is the oats we've got in here and across here i did this off camera and we've now got uh corn in here so preparing this field at the moment so we've got this guy here the medium John Deere and we've got a roller on the back of it so we're going to go and take this over to that cornfield and then we're going to spray it once it's been rolled and then we shall get the fertilizer on it so what I might do actually I'll send this guy on his way this tractor is quite a slow tractor it only does 20 mile an hour so We'll send him over to this end, I think. And there was a lot of stones in that field as well, so I got them all gathered up and they're all in a nice neat pile. Uh, what are we looking for? This wee guy here. So I'm going to take him back down to the cow shed. And um, that worker is not moving yet because, yep, there we go. Yeah, I notice when I'm, I'm trying to hire workers to do anything, um, it does start jittering about um, and lagging quite a lot until they start moving. So, yeah, the canola field is growing really well. It's uh, on its last stage, I think, of growth. So we're going to have to get a harvester ready for that. Um, the reason I've got the corn and the oats I've probably mentioned in the previous video is just because of stage three we're going to need a lot of corn a lot of oats and I need to get enough money to get bees started and get honey started but for now we're on stage two and we need to get f uh, 500,000 in the bank And once we get that 500,000 in the bank and no loan, then we should be good to finish up and get on to stage three. I've still got this um, bed, the bed, the straw bedding machine. I've still got that set there on lease. Slurry, I've em I emptied this tank and I've put it all into the uh, backup tank down here. I don't know, 385,000 litres in there. I've also got... Uh, I think that's 166,000 litres there of manure. And for the fermenting silo, we have got silage at 306,000... 224 litres so I need to get the truck so we're going to get the truck a second uh, animals are scratching in the background there making a lovely noise where's my truck there it is raise that up and okay and I'll get the other tractor down and get that set into place. So I've been told to take the slurry to the biogas plant. Don't know if I'll be able to. Yep. Okay. The only uh, the only thing with the TLX and the trailer uh, adapters 
is you've got to make sure they're not too close together. Right. So, what are we going to do just now? I'm just thinking about prices of the silage. We've still got 172,000 litres of sugar beets, so there's plenty of sugar to be made. I uh, could probably do that, actually, depending on how much the silage is. Uh, no, right, okay. Won't do that just now. We'll go over and... Be careful and try and remember that I've got um, crop destruction on. So... If I can actually send this guy on his way, I'll see if I can grab that. How far is he away? He's not too far away. Right. Let's see if I can grab this guy down to here so we can get these sugar beets done. And Will he avoid that tractor or will he crash into it? And he just stops. <laughs> Right, let's move this guy out of the way. Right. Let's unfold the roller. Lower that down. That should be us on our way, on our merry way. I did ask, I was watching CBW's live stream earlier today, and I did actually ask him if we can actually fast farm with the the uh, the mass weight and other items, but uh, unfortunately we can't. So we'll just do what we can here, and send a worker on his way and then we'll get our sugar beets sorted out I'm really enjoying the the lifting the lifting mod for lifting the pallets it's really handy for just moving things about especially the pallets for the cakes I'm just storing them in uh, the, a shed at the moment so yeah it's, it's great for moving them about and putting them onto the shelving units and stuff like that and also for removing the eggs from the chicken coop as well and I've got a few of the cheese crates that I can't move by hand but a few of them I can so we'll need to get them moved as well before they get filled up too much but there is a way to to do it. Um, what I can do, I don't know if it will work with the cheese crates. I've never tried it with the cheese crates, but I'll try it uh, in a moment. Lift that guy up. Don't actually want to go over that farmer's field because, as you can see up there, uh, there was a. I think it was the cultivating contract and a wee bit of an incident there with the cultivator. So, I wonder, can they, oh yeah, the workers can do it. Once that's all rolled in. Yeah, I mean, this, this tractor here is pretty a pretty good tractor. Um... I mean, it's 228 horsepower. It just, unfortunately, only goes 21 mile an hour. Be nice if it went a bit faster, but can't have it all our own way. Nothing in the second-hand shop. Right. Where is that truck? Is he there yet? Yeah, he's there. Right. Let's get the sugar beets in. Wheat, back the way, 
Sugar Beach. There we go. Take a hot minute to fill that up, I think. Yeah, so as I was saying, there's these crates at the front. They're all 100 kilogram. I can lift them, no problem. It's these ones at the back that that uh, I can't lift. But there is a way of putting the autoload pallet uh, trailer on and actually picking up all of these. And if I wanted to keep them stored, like say I wanted to store them around the front here uh, and lift them by hand, I can autoload them onto that and then unload them. Um, and then they, they will go down to 100 kilos. But as I say, I don't know how it will work with the cheese. I've not tried it with the cheese yet. this way that's another thing I, I notice as well when you attach the the trailers to these if you look up on the top you'll see a little icon above the menu there with uh, a little truck uh, with a number one on it and you don't get a trigger uh, and then you press it again and that gives you the mirrors. Now that allows you to uh, toggle your, your mirrors. You can move your mirrors in and out as much as you want. Uh, the other side as well. Up and down for that on the, the right stick. Uh, but you have to actually have it so there's no numbers on it to get the trigger for the, the sugar beets to empty. It does take a bit, uh, a wee bit of time, but it doesn't take too long to empty this, this one. Right, so, I want to show you what I've done here. So, this is what we've done here. Just, I've moved these ones over because they're 100 kilo. This one here, I haven't moved. It's 340. That one's 340. And that one's the new one there. And the same with this one's 340. So, yeah, I mean, I could I could potentially put another shed in here at the back. Uh, I would need to buy this little plot of land, though. Um, or try and get some sort of small enough shed that would probably fit in between here. Because I'm going to be using my doing it by hand. So, yeah awesome mod awesome mod that right we are going to skip over to and see how this guy's doing is he still going yeah he's still going strong right we're going to take the tractor up and I'll show you what I've done up at the lift that weight up off the ground before it gets stuck on something yeah, so I removed all the stones off this field. Um, I didn't realize you could fast farm. Uh, I, I was just using a worker to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, as it, the sugar is being distributed over to the bakery, over to Rusty's Bakery there at the moment. So yeah, here's our little pile of stones. So we'll need to get rid of them at some point. So once, as I say, once we've rolled that field, we'll get it um, f with herbicide on it and then we'll get it fertilized. So yeah, each time uh, a crate appears with the cakes, I would now just pick them up and I'm just storing them in here. Much easier doing it by hand than it is with... with... Um, using the tractor with the front loader or I mean I'm not going to be able to get them up the top there but you know I could try but I don't think that's going to work so but they'll just get stored on that shelf and then down the bottom here and if I need to I'll put in another maybe put in another couple more if I need to so 
contracts have we got any contracts that's another thing we've got a, the bailing contract not really doing the bailing contract at the moment while I'm here a feed buster I really need to get uh, CBW's grain mill up and running again so I'll need to hopefully we'll get um, the harvest when the harvest season comes we'll get some extra harvesting contracts for grains we can put into the mill so I'm going to go over to the shop and I'm going to collect the the sprayer and I shall see you guys in a moment welcome back guys I'm just going to go around and finish rolling the bits that were missed and start to do the spreader for the herbicide over the the field here but um, yeah it's unfortunate because I can't actually see exactly where I've done with the weeder uh, the, the herbicide oops excuse me so what I'm gonna end up having to do is just kind of keep an eye on the map and check for weeds coming through and then uh, just go back over it with the the herbicide and uh, yeah it's, it's kind of difficult to see exactly where I've actually put herbicide on so we'll just get this uh, rolling finished so the whole point of the goal just now really is just to get money in the bank um, try and get 500,000 in the bank and that will complete stage 2 and then it's onward and upward to stage 3 the final stage of the challenge let's try and figure out where there's another bit here somewhere trying to find it up oh, there is there it is and then I think there's another piece up at the the far far end up there Get this bit rolled and then I'll show you what I meant with the the auto load of the pallets that are already the the ones that are already there I'll just double check this map see what uh, make sure I've got everything so far a tiny little bit there a tiny bit there and some bits up there so yeah, we'll get this finished, the, the rolling part of this finished and get that last couple of bits. I want to get it all done. I could run along run along the whole field and find out where I've weeded and where I haven't done the weeding, so to speak, but I'm not going to go running around doing that. I'll just run this right up here. That should have been the start of it there. Yeah. And then that tiny little bit over there. Do you know what? I'm not going to worry about those bits being rolled in or not. What I'll do is I shall return the these pieces of equipment, the roller and the, the sprayer, because, yeah, as I said... Maybe I could have just thrown lime down on the field and then done it with the the sprayer. I probably know exactly where I am with it, but right. Okay, let's go and return return these now. Return that and return that. Right, turn that off. That should I? Right. Okay, here we go. So what I did was just drove up the side of the the pallets there and then once these do load in I can remember there's an option yeah they start loading in just like that 
I'll load all of these up. So there were 300 and odd kilograms. So then what you do here is you just unload and it will actually unload your pallets. And then when you're done, there's a piece missing on that one. Don't know if that'll fill up now, but never mind. Uh, try stick that over here. Hopefully that might finish, it might not. So then, yeah, your pallets become liftable. So I basically, I put this, oh no, 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 oh no. Why is it missing? Why are the bits? Oh, that, oh, it's because I went too, typical, went too close to the truck. All right, let's try that again, guys. Always remember to make sure the truck is far enough away when you've unloaded them. Otherwise, they will just start to reload on the truck. And I cannot believe that I just threw that up there. Well, I better believe it because I just did it, so. Let's see, can I get up there? Oh, no. A bit closer. I don't want to get too close, otherwise it'll probably start to... There we go. Right. Now, reverse this. Unload and drive oh come on are you kidding me right now maybe that pallet just didn't finish no because I've got nothing on the truck now right so then yes as I was saying they become liftable I could just stack these up I'll try and stack these up Oh my goodness. It, it does work, guys. Believe me, it does work. It does work. This is tough. There we go. Why are you not going in there now? You were earlier. Oh dear, dear me. Right. Push along. There we go. Yeah, it takes a wee bit of fiddling about, but it does eventually work. There we go. I like it to be a little bit tidy, but it doesn't have to be extremely in line. But just remember not to run with the pallets too fast. Otherwise, you will throw them up on the roof. You'll be doing the new Olympic pallet toss. I'll get these into here. So yeah, I mean, the whole purpose of this uh, this episode just to get a recap of where we are, what we're doing, and get that cornfield done. <coughs> Excuse me. So I should be able to, yeah, should be able to lift that, yeah. So yeah, I've got this stack of pallets here at the moment. And as I say, I can't lift this one, it's 340 kilos. That one's 100 kilos, so I can lift that if I wanted to. I can stack that up there if I wanted to. And this one as well. So we'll get the, turn that, turn the lights off on that. What we'll do is we'll get this guy, I'll take him back to the farm. We're going to the next day actually I think. 
1917 it's gonna start getting dark now and then I won't be able to do too much in the dark so I'm thinking that once we have, are done here and we go into the next day what, is, what are they lime lime bags right we go into the next day just now see what we're, we're where we're sitting and see where we're going next I think the canola might be ready to harvest right so we're in the next day let's have a look at the map about the weeds and see if any weeds pop up yes there we go so I will get that done off camera guys didn't miss too much actually but I'll get that done off camera and we should be no weeds on that this should be ready to harvest nope almost almost ready to harvest and we've got this one's growing oh what's going on here <laughs> a bit delayed and then we've got our corn growing so we get another fertilizer on this one uh, let's get the weeds done on that that one's fully fertilized that one could I'm just going to leave that one as it is I'm not going to try and fertilize that one again so there should be a pallet of cakes here or two pallets of cakes here ready to go into this shed here you know it's it's funny you do this off camera and, and oh, everything works out well you try and do it on camera and you make a mess of everything there we go so I'll do like that and I'll get this next one here There's some of these you can run with some of them you can't depend on the angle you have on that but uh, I just don't uh, recommend running with them at all excellent we're right, going to take a quick skip down to uh, the chickens area. There should be that pallet of eggs is ready to come off of there. Eggs not accepted here. Well, I, I sure hope that the chickens would be wanting to eat their own eggs, but never mind. that one's not done yet and that one up there we've got another crate over here we'll get this one in the shed may as well do it all now while we're here perfect have a check on the situation with the chickens they could be needing more feed cows are needing hay chickens are going to be needing f oh no they're okay they're not too bad they're not too bad so what are we sitting at for the, the Angus cows are nearly at their reproduction stage don't know how they would reproduce but never mind I'm just trying to check the ages of them. I don't want them getting too to a point where they're too old. So let's find our little. There he is. Ah, see the weeds coming through. I can see the weeds there. Right. What I'll do is I'll need to go and get that weeder. Now my pro issue is are they. It's not on at the point of crop destruction at the moment. Right. I'm going to have to... Should have probably just kept that weeder, but never mind. So I'm going to rent that weeder out and then 
just a small herbicide tank I need small sprayer uh, 24 meter that one will do 1200 liters will that work or would it be better with 1300 I'll just go for the 1200 and I'll get herbicide that's a 2000 litre tank so that's fine if I run out I can go back and get some more so what I'll do is I shall send this guy on his way take him up here and send him off hopefully he makes it alright send this guy from here in the hope that he will actually go here let's see what happens if he moves or not but oops I turned the engine off there didn't I Go feed the cows of what's left of the hay. We need to get some extra cash in and get some of this, some more bales picked up. I know this is not how you would normally do it, but I've got the bale spike there, but I don't have the correct attachment for this tractor for that. Let go of the bales, please. Thank you. last bail in awesome okay so that's that done guys uh, that would give that yeah they've got enough to keep them going now and this guy is he's heading down there hopefully he makes it down there so I'm going to get that field finished up with the weeding and uh, off camera and yeah so I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode guys and if you did please remember to leave a like and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and uh, yeah hit that notification bell so you're notified of every upload I put up so we're going to leave it here today guys so have a good day evening night whichever one you're you're on in your time zone and until next time, guys, bye for now.